Under the Fifth Amendment's takings clause, if the government takes private property for public use, it must pay the owner just compensation. In the 1992 case of Lucas v. South Carolina Coastal Council, the United States Supreme Court considered when merely regulating land use rises to the level of a taking. David Lucas purchased two undeveloped South Carolina beachfront parcels. Lucas intended to build a single-family home on each. Before construction could start, South Carolina banned permanent residential development on the parcels, forcing Lucas to let them sit idle. Lucas sued in state court, arguing that the new regulation was a Fifth Amendment taking requiring just compensation. The trial court awarded compensation, finding the ban tantamount to a taking because it destroyed the parcel's economic value. On appeal, the South Carolina Supreme Court reversed. It held that the ban was not a taking, but rather a legitimate exercise of the state's police power. The police power includes authority to regulate land for the public health, safety, morals, and welfare. The United States Supreme Court granted cert to determine whether a land use regulation that completely destroys the land's economic value is a taking, requiring just compensation. Justice Scalia, for the majority, answered yes. He held that a land use regulation that destroys the land's economic value is a taking, unless the state can show that when the owner acquired the land, the prohibited use could have been enjoined under state nuisance law. Clearly, a taking results when the government appropriates land. More often, though, governments simply regulate the use of land. These otherwise legitimate restrictions may produce so-called regulatory takings. To decide whether a regulation is a taking, the court typically employs the analysis articulated in Penn Central Transportation Company v. City of New York. In short, the Penn Central framework balances the public interest the regulation is meant to serve against the regulation's interference with the owner's legitimate, investment-backed expectations concerning the land's use. If the public interest is too unimportant to justify the degree of interference, then the regulation is a taking. But Justice Scalia held that when the regulation altogether destroys the property's economic value to the owner, Penn Central does not apply. In that event, the almost categorical rule is that the regulation is a taking requiring just compensation. Justice Scalia justified this rule on three grounds. First, from the owner's perspective, a regulation rendering the land worthless is just like an outright appropriation. Second, because regulations rarely erase the land's value completely, the rules shouldn't impede the state's ability to regulate land use for the public good. Third, without a rule like this, states could use regulation as a pretext to effectively take private property for public benefit without paying just compensation. This would circumvent the takings clause. This rule does acknowledge one exception. Historically, the law of nuisance has contemplated restricting one owner's use of land to prevent unreasonable interference with another's use and enjoyment of different land. All title to land incorporates this principle. So if the state regulation operates consistently with pre-existing nuisance principles, the government takes nothing by regulating. Instead, the government simply recognizes the scope of title as the owner acquired it. Accordingly, the regulation is no taking if, when the owner acquired the land, the prohibited use could have been enjoined under the state's nuisance law. At this point, no court had decided whether South Carolina's nuisance law would have enjoined developing the beachfront parcels when Lucas purchased them. Justice Scalia thought South Carolina's courts should determine that. Accordingly, the court reversed the South Carolina Supreme Court's decision and remanded the case for further proceedings. Justice Kennedy, concurring, would have applied Penn Central and focused on Lucas's reasonable investment-backed expectations. Under that framework, Justice Kennedy concluded that more findings were needed, justifying remand. Justice Blackmun, dissenting, argued that the rule announced in Lucas wrongly upended the court's prior takings clause jurisprudence. This was not necessary to decide Lucas's narrow, rare, and relatively insignificant case. Justice Stevens, dissenting, felt that the Lucas rule was arbitrary and unworkable, showing too little respect for the state's police powers. After Lucas, courts and practitioners were uncertain how it would impact future takings clause cases. That remained so until the court's 2002 decision 
in Tahoe Sierra Preservation Council versus Tahoe Regional Planning Agency. There, the court clarified that Lucas applies only when the challenged regulation permanently enjoins all valuable use of the land. In all other regulatory takings cases, it seems that Penn Central still applies. 